Hi guys, Lindsay here, and I'm going to show you how I turn myself into Mystique from X-Men. Keep watching! Okay, so this is the version that I'm doing from X-Men Days of Future Past. Okay, so we're going to start off by getting some liquid latex, um, and I have already slicked back my hair with a gallon wet look gel. I'm going to use a silicone brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to start drawing on all the patterned area that she has on her forehead. If you get anything wrong like I did, just wipe it off and start again. It's Before it dries it's super easy to just wipe off. So once the first layer has dried you want to build up the latex over and over again in as many layers as you want so that it looks quite 3D on the face. Obviously you can totally skip this part and just paint on the patterning but if you're wanting that real 3D effect that she has in the film, um, this is the way I would do it anyway. Okay so now I'm just going to paint myself blue. Um, I'm using the Makeup Forever wet paint for this. Um, any of the amazing body paints that you can get out there will do, just get the right shade of blue for you. Um, really work the paint in with the water so that it got as much opacity as you can get. If you just pop the water on there and don't mix it in properly, it will be sheer and you feel like you're layering forever and ever and ever. Um, just really work it in until it's like a thicky, thick kind of cream consistency and then it will go on as smooth as you like. So once the body paint has dried, you want to go in with a blue eyeliner all around the rim of the eyes and then go in with a dark black shadow um, on top of the eyes and you can also use this to contour your face to give dimension. I'm also putting a bit of black from the flash palette around my eyes to act as kind of like an eyeliner. And then using that black shade again on the eyebrows. Okay, so now what you want to do is start painting all that detailing area. I started out with the blue from the flash palette and it just didn't look right. So I added in some black and I kind of used a mix of the blue and the black um, and just went over all of the little latex detailing that we'd made um, and then added in a few little more smaller dots and shapes and things, a bit more around the edge of the face and everything, just to really, really fill it up. And then just start filling in all the shapes across the chest and shoulders and I just used a larger angled brush for this and just used the brush to my advantage to make those shapes. Now going in with a highlighter um, that has a blue shift to it, just along the nose, um, the cupid's bow and on my collarbones, just to give it a little bit of dimension. Now using the Nip Liquid Suede lipstick on the lip. So now back to the body paints, I'm using a red over my hair. Um, you could obviously use a coloured hairspray or a wig, um, but because her hair in this film and the earlier films was that kind of greasy, slick back, weird looking hair, um, I thought that this would go really well with the character. This does just wash out really quickly in the shower. Don't worry about it if you are gonna do it this way. And then I go back in with the flash palette with the red and the peach color to add more dimension. Then I'm just popping these lashes on, which are black and blue, and then popping my contact lenses in, which are not the right ones but still and there we have the finished look i hope you like it if you want to know all the details about this one check out my instagram at linsmua and i will have all the details and products that i used listed there thank you for watching bye